All right, last year I did a video on the Hoover Hives, and uh, this isn't a repeat of last year's video. This is a different Hoover Hive that I bought. I was so impressed with the build quality of the ones that I got last year that I bought some this year too. And these look like, you know, so far I ain't started putting them together, but look like it's going to be just as good. Now, a lot of people have commented on the previous video that I did about the cost went up $10. And I don't work for Hoover Hives, and I have no idea what justified their cost increase. But if you go price lumber today in 2021, you're going to find that the cost of lumber is probably going to cost you more than what one of their beehives costs already pre-cut, ready to assemble. And the other thing I noticed too, is the new hive that I just got in a couple days ago has a few extra pieces in it that wasn't in the hive that I bought last year. And those extra pieces include what appears to be, because it's not even on the package list, but I kind of know a thing or two about beehives, um, is a metal entrance reducer that you would put on in the winter time uh, to keep out mice and uh, that sort of thing. There is also a plastic vent for the top of the hive. Now I don't know what this is as related to the beehive. I suspect it's just a uh, maybe a extra piece of metal that fell in there during packaging. I really don't know. But these two items right here, if you price on Amazon, cost more than $10. So I still think for the value, especially in today's lumber cost, it is actually way cheaper for me to buy one of these hives. I post videos of the hives I built last year. They're all doing great. And uh, I'm just going to keep buying them because right now, time is money to me. And although I've got all the tools, i got a wood shop, I can build my own hives. It's quicker for me to order something that's already cut out and assemble it. Time is money. That saves me a lot of time. And there's just simply no way that I can build beehives for $199 or whatever they cost now. $189, $199. I think it's $199 now. So I, I just couldn't do it myself that cheap. I still recommend Hoover Hives. I'm going to continue to buy Hoover Hives unless something changes in the wood prices or I get a whole bunch of additional free time in my life. You know, that's just kind of the way I'm going to be I gotta I gotta do whatever saves me the most time or money and right now it is still Hoover Hives so just so that you know I'm not affiliated with Hoover Hives I don't I don't have no discount code you could use to go to their website I wasn't paid to promote Hoover Hives I'm just telling you as a beekeeper what works for me in 2020 and 2021 so if you're looking for beehives definitely don't hesitate to buy these they're great quality they last a long time they're easy to assemble and I'll put a link up to the first video I did so you can see how I assembled it now one person asked me about my boss stitch nail gun uh, the particular model and to be honest with you I don't even remember where they put the model number oh there it is model number FN 16250 16 gauge finish nailer the nails that I actually used I have two different ones here inch and three quarter and an inch and a quarter I used more of the inch and a quarter than I did the inch and three quarter. And I used also 
for all of my woodworking projects, woodwork or a Gorilla Wood Glue. So that pretty much lays out the questions I've been asked. It takes me about 30 minutes to put one of these together, but I have experience. It literally takes five minutes to put the bottom boxes together. Most of your time is putting the frames together, you know, but if you're using a nail gun, it goes really quick. First few might take a little bit of time, but then it goes really quick after that. So, that's my take on Hoover Hives in 2021. If you got any questions, ask on this video or ask on the previous Hoover Hive video or ask on any of my B uploads. Um, I'm, I'm always quick to respond to answers. Um, I'm still fighting uh, with my voice in thyroids during cancer recovery, so excuse my voice. But uh, as always, and I say this with the greatest emphasis possible God bless you God bless your families God bless your homesteads in 2021